Hello students, this is your English lesson. In this lesson, we are going to read a poem, The Naming of Cats from Oxford Modern English 7. So we start our lesson. This poem is written by T.S. Eliot, American English poet, playwright, literary critic and editor. He is the winner of Nobel Prize in Literature. The Naming of Cats explores the way in which cats acquire their names. The lyrics show how cat has three different names. The name they are given by their human family, a particular name and an unknown name for humans. In fact, the poem talks about identity of people how people present themselves in different ways to general public, to their family and friends. First of all, words to know. Admitus, Electra, Demeter. Greek, mythological characters. Cherish, to hold dear, to treat with affection. Contemplation. Thoughtful observation or study. Dignified. Worthy of respect. Affable. Capable of being expressed in words. Affanian affable. A made up word. Everyday dames. Ordinary women. In affable. Incapable of being expressed inscrutable difficult to understand mad as a hatter crazy peculiar or strange perpendicular being at right angles to the horizontal straight up in the air plato the name of a greek philosopher profound deep beyond what is obvious Quorum, a select group, wrapped, deeply absorbed. Now come to the reading of the poem. The naming of cats is a difficult matter. It isn't just one of your holiday games. You may think at first, I'm as mad as a hatter. When I tell you a cat must have three different names. First of all, there's the name that the family use daily, such as Peter, Augustus, Alonzo, or James, such as Victor, or Jonathan, George, or Bill, Bailey. All of them sensible everyday names. There are fancier names if you think they sound sweeter. Some for the gentlemen, some for the dames such as Plato, Admetus, Electra, Demeter, but all of them sensible everyday names. But I tell you, a cat needs a name that's particular, a name that's peculiar and more dignified. Else how can he keep up his tail perpendicular or spread out his whiskers or cherish his pride? Of Names of this kind, I can give you a curum. Such as monk strap, coaxo, or coricopat. Such as bumbleorina, or else jellylorium. Names that never belong to more than one cat. But above and beyond, there's still one name left over. And that is a name that you never will guess. The name that no human research can discover. But the cat himself knows and will never confess. When you notice a cat in profound meditation, the reason I tell you is always the same. His mind is engaged in a rapt contemplation of the thought, of the thought, of the thought of his name. His ineffable, effable, 
often and affable, deep and inscrutable singular name. Now come to the exercises A. Understanding the poem. 1. Answer the following questions. A. Why does the poet say that the reader may think he is crazy? Answer. The poet says that the reader might think that he is crazy when he tells them that a cat must have three different names. B. What is the first type of name that a cat should have? Answer. The first type of name a cat should have is the name that the family use every day. C. What is the second type of name that a cat should have? Answer. The second type of name that a cat should have is a particular name that is peculiar and dignified. D. How many female names of the first type does the poet suggest? Answer. The poet does not suggest any female names in the first list. He suggests only two female names on the first type. In the second list, Electra and Demeter. E. Which fancier names does the poet suggest? Answer. The fancier names that the poet suggests are Plato, Admetus, Electra and Demeter. F. In what way will a cat be able to behave if he is given a name that is particular? Answer. A cat will be able to keep his tall perpendicular spread out his whiskers and cherish his pride if it has a name of this kind. G. What is the third type of name that a cat must have? How is it different from the other two types? Answer. The third type of name is one that the cat knows but no one else will ever know. It is different because humans will never discover what it is. H. When a cat is in profound meditation, what is it thinking about? Answer. When a cat is in profound meditation, it is thinking about the thought of the thought of the thought of his name. 2. Answer the following with reference to context. A. All of them sensible everyday names. 1. What are some of these names? Answer. Peter, Augustus, Alonzo, James, Victor, Jonathan, George, Bill Bailey, Plato, Admetus, Electra or Demeter. 2. When are these names used? Answer. These names are used daily. 3. Are there any other names by which a cat might be called? How are they different from these names? Answer. A cat can also have a particular name and a singular name. The particular name is unique to each cat and the singular name will only ever be known by the cat it belongs to. B. But above and beyond, there's still one name left over. 1. Above and beyond what? Answer. Above and beyond the everyday name and the particular name. 2. What is the name left over? Answer. The singular name. 3. How does a cat show it is thinking about this name? Answer. By being in profound meditation. B. Working with words. Similar words. 1. What is the difference between the words given in each group below? A. Hard, solid, firm. Difficult, needing much effort to accomplish. Unmanageable, impossible to manage. Demanding, requiring much skill or effort. 
B. Hobby and activity done regularly in one's layer time for player. Game and activity that one engages in for amusement or fun. Pastime and activity that someone does regularly for enjoyment rather than work. Activity the condition in which things are happening or being done. C. Peculiar, different to what is normal or expected. Unusual, not habitually or commonly done. Specific, clearly defined or identified. Characteristic, a feature or quality belonging typically to a person, place or thing. D. Occupied of a building, seat, etc. being used by someone. Engaged, busy, committed, pledged or bound to a certain course or policy. Employed, having a paid job. D. Love, an intense feeling of deep affection. Adore, love and respect someone deeply. Cherish, protect and care for someone lovingly. Yearn, have an intense feeling of longing for something. Complete the following sentences with colorful similes of your own. A. The sound of the birds from the trees in the valley was as clear as crystal. B. The man arrested by the policeman was as ugly as beer. C. The telegraph wires buzzed like bees. D. Samir kicked the ball as straight as spear. E. The big ship steamed into the harbor as smoothly as ice. F. The wind howled through the trees like wolf. G. The startling news spread through the town like wildfire. H. During the curfew, the streets were as quiet as mouse. Metaphors 1. Use the following words in sentences of your own. Write two sentences for each word using each word literally and metaphorically. A. Root Sentence Pull the plant up by the roots. Through praise, roots and spreads. Or you can say, money is the root of all evils. B. Parent Sentence She explained to him why she didn't like his parents. Idleness is the parent of all vice. C. Arms Sentence She has a broken arm. We welcome you with open arms. D. Bed Sentence She sat down on the bed and sighed again. Life is not bed of roses. E. Cage Sentence Alice put the rabbit back in the cage and closed the door. We felt all caged in. F. Star Sentence We saw countless bright stars tonight. There were a few big movie stars at the party. G. Doctor Sentence Doctor gave her medicine to make her well. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. 2. 
give metaphorical uses for the words in italics. A. A man's neck. Answer. A thick neck. A neck of land. Neck of a bottle. Neck of a vase. B. A soft pillow. Soft skin. Soft heart. Soft mind. Soft feelings and emotions. Soft options. Soft words. C. A man's back. Back of a chair. See the back of him. Break the back of something. D. A man's heart. The human heart. The heart of the matter. Heart of a fruit. Heart of a story. His heart was not in it. His heart leapt. E. The branch of a tree. Oak branch. Branch of a bank. School. Society. Club. Branch of science. 3. Below are some metaphors that we often use. Explain the meaning of each and use them in sentences of your own. A. Getting into a rut. Sentence. We are getting into a rut. Let's move abroad for the summer break. B. Putting the cat. Putting the cart before the horse. Sentence. To get married first and then get a job is putting the cart before the horse. C. To smell a rat. Sentence. He smelled a rat when his wife said she did not want to go on a vacation with him. D. On its last legs. Sentence. I have had this laptop for five years now and it's really on its last legs. E. To steer clear of something. Sentence. Steer clear of the boss today. He is yelling at everyone he sees. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.